Man, we back at it. Y'all know what time it is. Ten toes down. Yeah, yeah. Ten toes. Ten toes. Ten toes. We outside. What's good, guys? Wonderful, Amen, magnificent, man. and great is what we are right now. We still right. living. Yeah, you know what I mean? It, we it, ain't in jail. Thank God. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and we don't plan on going. That's uh, right. And no earthquakes, so we good to go. It's a whole lot of st- stuff going on, man, and we going to go ahead and call it audible. We going to get right into Tory Lanez. Uh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I need to go ahead and free that, man. Uh, yeah, everybody railroaded with him the whole time and tried to make it seem like he went ahead and did that girl dirty, and the evidence is coming out otherwise. So, kid, this, you know what I mean? You, oh, man. So you, you was you was against him going to jail from the get go. Yeah, because it the, was bullshit. Out of all the evidence that they presented at the time, it, two plus two don't add up to four. I don't care what you tell me. If two plus two don't add up to four, I don't believe you. So what part? Before I I let you guys listen to this audio, what part was the two that did not add up for you the, your, from your recollection? Because it's been quite some it's time. It's been quite some time, but yeah. like just hearing the whole story. Mm-hmm. Like, if we use your common sense, it felt like a triangle call from the jump. It, it didn't feel like, like, that's L.A. I don't care how f- f- fucked up you are, how messed up you are. Especially that part of L.A., nobody's just going to randomly come out and just start shooting you know, shoot you in the foot. Unless somebody was trying to grab a pistol from somebody. <laughs> and it just actually, it, it went off because the safety was off. So you... You've been you you, you kind of kind of painted that picture a while ago. It's just common I, sense. I just can't go past that. First of all, Kylie Jenner, you know what I mean? That's a powerful family there because she was yeah. not mentioned at all except that yeah, little snippet that's a when whole they story. Like she wasn't even around. So mm-hmm. I want to I want to be part of that family because that family didn't have anything to do with that's court. That Armenian. Uh, Armenian. Y'all want to be? I'm Armenian right now. You know what I'm saying? But I could not wrap my mind around the success that Tori had. And why would he shoot um, Megan? It, it just didn't make any sense. None. But they played a recording from when he was in jail. And I'm like, ah, Tori, what are you apologizing for? Because he was speaking to her best friend. Mm-hmm. And I kept just couldn't put get past that part. So I kind of like shifted, you know, my first mindset. Because I'm like, I don't like it. I seen her crying in the ambulance, but that... You know, didn't implicate that he did it. It just means that she went through some trauma. She's Man, that crying. girl was still on tick. Was on the internet like a few days later twerking her behind. Or she alright. She was alright. I mean, you gotta live your life like Diddy living his right now. I mean, I don't think. Look, Trump. Trump mean, was right. I was after the assassination attempt. Trump was on the golf right. course. Right, yeah, right. They all. I mean, you gotta live your life days and you listen. Know, I, I done gave birth. That's and came a gangster back. right there, Mary right. Gangster. I done gave birth and popped out the next day. Like, what's good? <laughs> uh, you know, women actually doing that now. Before nowadays, huh? I know women that popped exactly. out, pop babies out three days, three weeks later. When we first that, they back so, in the club. Like, so we shouldn't fuck? pass judgment or not, you know, guilty or not guilty based off of how fast you bounce back. You know, could we all agree it, to it, that? It just sometimes you just got to use like common sense, and then it's like, you know, when you watch the news. The news sometimes gives you, uh, they use code words for certain things that like, this is true. if you don't understand what's going on, you'll be thinking something totally different. Like, it seemed like, it's like, whoever they decide the enemy is at the moment, you know what I mean? It's okay, we're going to pounce on him. Whoever, whoever the, the, these people are, who knows, that's running Whatever they are running, I'm talking in parables, but we know what I'm of saying. Course, of course. It's like, you know, every single month, whoever, if you cross that line with them, okay, we're going to get that so-and-so this month. We're going to run him or her through the mud the whole goddamn month. One and then next month, it'll be somebody else and then somebody else. But Tori, you know, when you got a young, melanated brother who's full of fire and is telling the system of the industry, basically the SMD. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Some people going to be rubbed the wrong way by it. In a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. In right, a lot of ways. Right. Tori definitely is super talented. He cracked the code, basically. I, when people say that, I'm still trying to wrap my head around how did he crack the, uh, crack the code. But we'll, we can get into break, that. Break that down, Shot. He did... <clears throat> he did the equivalent to what... Um, 
Soldier Boy did early on with the ringtones. Okay. He had, you know, he was putting out these ringtones. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're a dollar piece. I'll take some juice. They're a dollar piece. I will in a second. Yeah, please. And, um. <laughs> <laughs> Only my brothers. They're a dollar piece. And people, this is when things started to really pop off mm-hmm. with the phones. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't even the smartphones at the time. This was regular phones, yeah. flip, flip phones. phones. Flip phones, ooh, chirps. Ooh, right. Ooh. Chirps, all that. You were able to put your music or that per, or Soldier Boy's music. You know, I refer to him because he's the pioneer for that. Yeah. I love Soulja Boy. You gotta give him credit. He's always Yeah, been shout out to the brother because he's a little bit, you he know. He changed the game. He's a very, ADHD-ish. very He's a very, very. He always reinvent um, the wheel, and he makes his money, and I appreciate that. About they try shit on him, but he he. he he's a very good businessman. Mm-hmm. He's a very good businessman. He is. You know, and he's a genius, and he knows how to to uh, make his money. You know, so Tory right. Lanez is the equivalent right. to that. So, so what happened was Tory Lanez started him and Nas. You know, were the ones that really uh, put emphasis on this. They they started to put music out through NFTs. Now NFTs are what you call non fungible tokens, mm. and they're images. They're different things that you know you own the rights to. And when some when you sell it, you make money off of it. There's music tied to these NFTs uh-huh. and everything. So when someone else sells it you make money you know what i mean so they were doing that at a time where nfc nfts were um they were garnering a lot of attention um attention Mm -hmm. so and he made a lot of money in one fell swoop Mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying like really really quickly he made you know he made a bag made millions you know and and it's during COVID, I think, also, right? When COVID first, you know. Nah, it was before, before COVID. COVID. Yeah, it was I, before I, COVID. I don't know why I thought wow. it was during COVID when it happened. And so that's how he cracked the code, and he was not um, on any label. So when they were able to get any residual incomes, right? It was so all it was his. No all, him. all him. All him. And, and then, he he, was, and then he, he's breaking it down to other artists how to do the same thing. Right. So right. now he was being very vocal, like, guys, y'all could do this, y'all could do mm-hmm. this. Oh man! So well, now it's like you got certain people as in power, like, nah, we can't have you do that, right? So it's like you know, people that are in power, as we all know, when you become a threat, like anybody, I don't, care, you know, they look for a moment of weakness, a moment where something happens, mm-hmm. and bam, they could pounce on you. I don't think. Some people, you got people that, like, for, do you feel like that state situation that happened was, uh, uh, cohort, like, what's the one I'm looking for? Um, was it orchestrated? What, what? Yeah, orchestrated, or it was just a random situation that happened, and then it just, everybody, my bad, everybody just pounced afterwards. What do you mean, with the Tory Lane situation? Yeah, some people felt like it was a situation that kind of was orchestrated. <laughs> But you a never lot of people, know the I don't limits think it was. to what people would do Listen, to gain success. It, it, but I don't think Tory would would put himself in a position or be in agreement to doing any jail time, right? You know, people do do things a lot. I question some things that Cardi B does online and other people. But you know, there's a line, is mm-hmm. a limit to it, and I don't think he would be in agreement to doing jail time. But it's not possible i mean it's not you know impossible people do that okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this i'm gonna take two years but i'm gonna come back out because he has two songs out what, what i mean by that cool so every lane just came out with two songs and from prison yeah, he put from out he, oh, he he's putting during, out an during, album okay coming out okay now. An album, but two songs are already out on that album or two singles are released mm-hmm. um and this happens to be Te- when technology. this this um this testimony has been placed from the said driver and what the driver said so it's oh, very interesting oh. 
But once again, this is marketing, right? You got to mm-hmm. utilize every... I'm so into marketing, like any little thing that happens with anybody. Mm-hmm. Art could be sitting right there and he raised his hand. That's part of marketing. He did it just when Ha said this word. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm just saying like he's utilizing marketing through jail. But when I mean orchestrated, right? I mean like he, not him agreeing to do anything. I'm saying, all right. Like, a, all right, maybe, uh, like, I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not trying to say I believe this over there. I'm just, you know, throwing different scenarios that, out that there. That's you should. A and tell pro type of thing, meaning that, Ooh. you know, that's people powerful. are put around other people to go ahead and cause dissension and mm-hmm. issues to cause adverse reactions so people could come and swoop down and get the results that they want. Listen, I watch Raymond Reddington. Blacklist. Let me tell you something. It's very possible. Mm-hmm. Okay? And I know that's a movie, but let me tell y'all a story. Mm-hmm. I'm on the east side by the river. Um, FDR, FDR. Yeah, FDR. Yeah. And there is someone threatening, or I don't know if somebody actually jumped over into the water. And I'm walking with my son, and I see a, a Caucasian guy with a dog, a big, like, what do you call those dogs, babe? Like the, the German Shepherd? Yeah, German Shepherd dogs. Regular, look like a you know regular pedestrian. I kid you not. He when you look close, he has something in his ear. He walk into the cops and goes, "Everything okay?" And he flashes back. And I'm like, I'm saying to my son, "Do you see that?" And it's like, so there are people that I've witnessed walking in the street that appears to be a pedestrian, mm-hmm. and one time someone that appeared to be homeless, mm-hmm. and um, it you know they're walking around watching us. Uh, so yeah. I don't put it I, I don't put it past it if they felt Torby wasn't doing what they were supposed to do said Diddy's in, um, situation right he mm-hmm. goes and sues some powerhouse and now they go oh really you really want to do that R. Kelly also and all of this stuff is being released so yes it, when it, he started it going happens. after his masters because he it knows he's when, losing money um, and it's um, always when Bill Cosby. someone wants to That's be when, when someone uh or uh a celebrity is trying to become liberated in some way. So that is color. the problem. You're so deep. I like that. Mm-hmm. They, <laughs> they out there trying to get some type of freedom, whether it's financial, um, mental, mental, spiritual, spiritual whatever. These these guys are uh, looking to get free sometimes even you know physical. <laughs> they trying to get Britney free of those verb, verb of proverbial shackles, shackles. Mm. and it's, it's over true. It's true. you know so they, that's they a start good they start that hitting the switch on this, this, this could have like, this could happens. have um, <clears throat> Tori should have been a little bit mindful Tori should have been more, more, more mindful like you, you, you have uh and my personal belief is that this happens in different major cities with rappers, because they just—I just think they take the same stuff that they use in Cointel Pro, even though they don't call it Cointel Pro, but right. this is the same method, right? Same stuff they used on black uh, liberation leaders right. back in the sixties and seventies. They just—they institute that with hip hop later on, or what have you. I believe. Uh, and we're going to touch on this after we finish this. I, be- I believe that, you know, that was happening with Pac and Big as well. Mm-hmm. But as far as like Tory, yeah. Sorry. They don't want you teaching them the game. They don't want you. They don't. Like look at like Chameleon, right? When Chameleon yeah. found out that his label was cheating them out of the money, right? He did good though. And he went ahead and went to them and he audited them. He audited the label. Oh, he audited the label. He okay. audited the label. Ooh. Artists don't think like that. No. So and then, even if they do know, they don't act on it because they're they too be afraid. afraid. They're too afraid. Right. And then when they went to him, they was trying to pay him at first, and he told them, "Listen, you going a give me the money that you owe me, and b you gonna let me out my contract. Otherwise, I'm gonna go to every single artist on this label and teach them how to go ahead and do what I'm doing." Oh, he threatened them on that level. He threatened them on that level. I mean, it's either you do that or you do Cameron go bust down the door. And, and, <laughs> Cameron you know, and, is a G. And they went ahead and got him out his contract. Shout they paid him what he owed them, and that's how he took that money and invested into the tech world. And right, the rest is history or whatever. And he's making millions doing that. But he is. But he's a not non-threat now. I'm not. Open. Yeah, I'm not an open like so. He, right. It's like okay, but most people like Tory. When you basically 
Tory was so excited to get to the people. Tory basically saying, yo, fuck y'all niggas. You know how much he made during COVID? He was just so excited. Millions. He was so excited to make it for the people. But sometimes you got to like, and y'all know this because of things that y'all teach people. Y'all don't just go ahead and not everything is out. Y'all going to put out for the general public. Or whatever, you know what I mean. You, you, you know what I mean. Have you, private groups. Certain things, you, exactly, because yeah. of the adverse reactions that could happen. But t- behind, you know, t- teaching people, especially when it comes to people liberating themselves. So, mm-hmm. do you think that the hip hop world owes Tory Lanez an apology? Well, we have to see where this is going to lead. He's not out yet, right? Mm-hmm. We are basing what. I would, you know, I would, we're shifting our mindset based off of this new information that's released now, right? And that the courts had responded to it. And we'll hear a little bit more about that. Um, but, you know, let's let's see, you know, where it leads. If he gets out, I def, the hands down, the answer to that question is yes. I mean, if you want to go ahead and apologize now, you can do so, right? Because you can say, you know what? I, I don't like uh, the information. Because this... It's interesting and you'll listen to like the, 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 the reasons why someone doesn't come forth and testify. And according to the opinion of the lawyer that I'm going to let you hear now, she is saying that the judge and I believe the pros- the prosecutor said that this would change, would take the gun out of Tory's um, hand and put it into Megan's best friend. Mm-hmm. And they didn't want that. They wanted to keep it narrow and straight. You mean you don't? That's a whole nother story for me. <laughs> they had, they had a, it's they had either we want to we want the story to be what it was. So, so let's put that so, up now for people can hear it, it. Right. So this is this is some BS to me, and I'm like, no, I, I'm not going to accept that. So it's up to you guys. It's up to the viewers. Let's hear what, how she presents this case. Free Tory. <laughs> He's going with free Tory. He's like, I don't care what happens. Okay. So she's going to talk about the. Okay. So let's get back to. So what's Just tuned in to my, my life to me, subscribe, hit the less the process here, but just want to make sure okay, sorry. There, there, there's no decision. Now they're talking about the Toby Glenn case, y'all. Y'all listen up. Is the attorney general's office has finally filed their responses to his, to his arguments. So it's the first time that we're able to, to hear from them on this. If you go into the, so the attorney general's, this is because they're responding to it. So it's been in already, but mm-hmm. they're finally responding to it. Mm. description on this video you can see a link to my article on it and, and it's we'll got the uh, the document in there uh, let me put it in the chat here too but I'll bring up my article here and uh, thank you guys so much Kirby uh, JM thank you so much for your support but uh, the this is a response to the one that I wrote about it was filed on Friday, and this is a response to his habeas petition that's all about the driver's supposed new statement. The habeas. So the driver has a new statement. Mm-hmm. So he had a previous statement, but all of a sudden he has a new statement, and in, in the court just. That's the affidavit that's circling on the internet, y'all. Right. Petition was filed in December. I did an article on it then. You guys might remember it. Uh, it's still on my website, but I've got the driver's statement linked in the new article. Everything. Good evening, Black Butterfly. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody, hit the like button. Let the uh, let the algorithm know we're here. This is a, a little bit different. Uh, short notice surprise, and not a YSL trial update. I'm going to be doing that later with Doug Weinstein. But this is all about Tory Lanez's appeal in the state attorney general's office response to it. I just published an article about a filing from Friday that responds to his habeas petition. And now it's a little confusing, but there, now, there's two yeah, cases. Now, now, now can, can, we, can, we, can we get her to get to like to the meat of the potatoes? Uh, part? Yeah, yeah, she's going to get to it. She's yeah. going to get to it. A couple of hours, but there's, you know, two, two different filings. So I got the one on Friday and put together an so article two different over filings. the weekend. Sum it up. So, uh, yeah, thank you, FT. Everybody hit the like button. Let everybody know we're here. Um, get the get the news. Oh, since he's saying that y'all hit the like button on this video as well, should summarily deny no this petition based on this. Which, if the court disagrees with that and says no, the uh, facts 
as alleged, if assumed to be true, do establish an initial case, that's not, that, that's not a finalization. It would mean there would be another step in order to show cause or, or, or some kind of other evidentiary step that would lead to more analysis there. But uh, the first one is just an initial, you know, does this meet an initial, uh, initial first impression? And the uh, AG's office is saying no, that he should, uh, they should deny it. But again, this uh, is the now, but, So that they're, they're saying that, so basically they're saying no that they they should they, the, the um the opposite the um the prosecutor is telling the judge right telling the court that they should deny this mm -hmm. right but there's no final you know yeah uh, um, stuff like that usually takes a while that doesn't happen overnight to tory lane's appeal and their main argument in his habeas this petition, is the, crazy part. the state attorney general's office says that Tory Lanez's driver's statement that supposedly knew is not actually new. That Tory knew about the how the driver would testify during the trial mm. and opted not to call him as a witness. And we've always heard that is confusing. Why would Tory opt for not to call him as a witness, right? But let's listen. That the driver didn't testify because he showed up to court and if he was to testify, the prosecutors wanted a few days to, or time to prepare for his testimony that would possibly delay the trial over the holiday and lead to a mistrial. So they decided not to call him. But the attorney general's office when drafting their- So you heard that? So they didn't want, they wanted to heavy up and do the trial because they didn't did their excuses or the holidays whatever because that was going to lead to a mistrial mm -hmm. and he wouldn't be in jail right now mm -hmm. right okay response to this actually got a copy of the transcript for an ex parte meeting that tory's lawyer had during trial with the judge in which this is george mcdesian uh, explains why he didn't he wasn't going to call kwan as a witness and it says in here, they actually quote from it, and it says, as George McDesian saying, we came to the conclusion that we're not going to call him because obviously the testimony, his testimony is going to be putting the gun in the hands of Kelsey. And that's what he told all of us. Stop. When, it, it, so when we just did an it was break it down for the. So basically they decided that they didn't want to call because his testimony. This is the driver. Mm -hmm. If he go up there, he speak now. Now it's going to be chaotic. Mm -hmm. Why? Because now the gun is in, 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 in Kelsey's hand. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be in Tory's hand. So you see how these courts play? They play, they play around. So yep. now this new petition has a lot of the previous conversations of, of the trial in this new petition. Mm -hmm. And this is what they're leading with. So basically, it sounds like there's a lot of illegalities going on in the district attorney's office, and they're trying to uh, cover their asses now. That's they're trying to cover their ass, but now this new petition is clear as day. Hopefully, we my don't question, get real quick, my question is: if there was all of this evidence that was going to be able to put him in a, a good spot, Tory, right? Why didn't they fight to get? that testimony recorded on the record maybe the lawyers you know a lot of times we got competent lawyers and people that don't, don't know what the hell they're doing but right but no, I'm, I'm, the judge my thing is who's whose lawyer whose lawyer is it well, we're gonna are we listen. talking about the the prosecution or are we talking about Tory's lawyer. the defense the def mm -hmm. well we'll find out hold on interview upstairs at this point my position was that the jury believes our theory i think sean kelly already put the gun in kelsey's hand uh, it, and if they're gonna, really going to believe that he took the gun from him and you started to shoot it yourself to me it's kind of an absurd argument this is george mcdesian which means it the, makes no sense which he, means that basically it was in her Kelsey's hand, and he more than likely was trying to wrestle the gun out of Kelsey's allegedly, hand. Allegedly, that's what happened. Allegedly, and allegedly, the bullet, the, the gun went off and accidentally hit homegirl. Because she was clearly she was, <laughs> he's, okay. He's talking about like, it's just this common fucking sense. Theory, already believes the theory, and that Sean Kelly's testimony was enough to 
support it. But remember, there, there's always different reasons for not calling witnesses. And one thing to keep in mind here is uh, um, who's side she on? The uh, uh, cross examination. I mean, a lot yeah, of the she times the confused. reason we don't actually hear from witnesses now, 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 is because it's not. Now, the now she's a little over the place, but she's making a lot of valid she's points. She's giving reasons why people don't in court. Put, um, um, call in certain witnesses, and and, and a lot so of times it's going it's going to hinder their case or whatever. So, right. it, so it's kind of like the 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 L.A. District Attorney Office has historically been corrupt for decades. Right. So that's not nothing new. They they've been corrupt oh, since oh, um, since going back to the forties and fifties. They right. are known to be a corrupt and, office and a racial I, office and a race office. And when did this when did this whole case go down? This was with Tory Lanez? 2022, yeah. I think, right? Right. Yeah. Two, it, what, what, yeah, around two years ago. Yeah, two years ago. So now this... Now when, new, did, when did it happen, though? Oh, the incident happened like 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Right, yeah. Really? I thought it happened before that. No, it happened... Sure yeah, it happened, it happened like, before... It happened... Uh, um, before COVID? No, it happened like around 2020. After COVID. So, right. I mean, yeah, did it, it happened. happen after Biden got in office? Oh God! It happened what around. It happened around time when he first came in the office. It, it it literally happened right. like Remember, one in time. Oh no! I was I was I was, I was, I, was so I, I was leading somewhere with this, but uh, uh, I'm gonna oh, leave I it alone see right. That. Yeah, I, I see. What, I see. We getting that. I can, I, I can hear it. But focus on let's listen to five more minutes. At least in part on his claim. I see. I see. We getting actually it. see who fired the gun because that's not really a believable uh, statement from somebody who's just was standing right there and saw the whole thing. But it also could be possible that, you know, what did he see immediately after that, that kind of thing. But he'd be subject to all those kind of questions and cross, and it might not uh, end up going well. But um, this is the first time we've seen the transcript from this uh, meeting that Tory's lawyer had with the judge during trial. So, so basically, if nothing else is, is, is a valid motion to go ahead and to, uh, oh, 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 at the end of the day, it's up to the... Uh, uh, judge in the it's highest court in California, it's but it sounds it to me there's enough to warrant him a new trial. Right. So there, there was, was a conversation in not regards even. to why this guy is not testifying, and they're putting this in this new transcript. This so, new position. So, so what it comes down to, because we, we got to move on to the next topic, is that bottom line, when you go ahead and trying to show people how to go ahead and liberate themselves in this case he was showing other artists how to liberate themselves financially mm -hmm. then people gonna come at your head that's a strong possibility but unfortunately he with his song i should have never met you that's the new song that's mm -hmm. out i wonder who he's talking about in that song uh, i think we um, know <laughs> um people places and things right i um, think we know right Did, and it's a shame because he's talented the songs i i resonated with it the first time I heard the, you know, the snippet of both of them, it just really shows the talent that Tory Lanez have. But I, I liked him, his character. I remember seeing him in a music video, and the director of the video, video was trying to push a dark-skinned woman out, you know, from the scene. He literally stopped it and it was like, oh, 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 we, we not doing that. You know, what I mean, she's just as beautiful as everybody else. Keep her on set, right? So that's the Tory Lanez I know that was very respectful of women, women especially women of color, and um, he's always been a kind-hearted and free will person. So it was just so hard for me to wrap my head around someone that, <clears throat> even just from a distance, could see his sincerity and the good character and personality that he has and the principles that he stand on. And a lot of people that was in his circle validated that. So for him to intentionally shoot Megan it was just it's just it, hard it, it, it didn't believe. add up right to this day it's really hard for me to, to accept that I have a lot of female friends who try their best to convince me yeah you don't see that he shot that woman and I'm like that's like me standing next to Haas a shocker and somebody telling me Haas took a gun and shot the woman intentionally that that's i'm emphasizing yeah, on that, yeah, that you could have been no sense was whatsoever right i just you would you it just they couldn't convince me Might shoot at her man i ain't gonna shoot her right but even, even then allegedly even then like i i know that maybe you could have you know been once again fighting or trying to tussle 
But to just but come just, out and shoot somebody, I you I know. Yeah, you, you can. Yeah, it, it's just destroying your character. You, shocker, right? when you kill somebody, you don't got to kill them with a bullet. You could kill them just by slandering them. And then nowadays in this internet, all you gotta do is just if you get more than one, if you get two or three people to believe a lie, then that's two or three people that's gonna tell two or three more people that's gonna tell two or three more people. Then nowadays everybody believes a lie. It's like nowadays everybody get accused of snitching. Oh, so and so's a snitch. That one's a snitch. We come from everywhere. Like if some you call somebody a snitch, you had to have proof that person was a snitch. You couldn't just put it out there. Right. Nowadays, yeah. you could just make up some shit. And you got niggas putting together fake paperwork to even go ahead and make us some shit. I'm crying. He said fake paperwork. The news is it's, treacherous it's weird. when it comes to stuff but like if, this. But you got some niggas that's stupid that if they don't understand the difference between fake paperwork and real paperwork, they'll believe the fake paperwork and think, oh, this person's a snitch. That person's a snitch. Mind you, it won't have no seal on it or nothing like that. I just say that to say that people are stupid nowadays. Mm -hmm. And not trying to tell you, call your friends stupid, but people are sheep. Do. Right. And they believe anything, just like uh, uh, with Camilla. But we're going to go ahead and get into that next episode or whatever. We ain't going to touch on that right now. But it's, speaking on, we're we going to switch it up to uh, the Diddy Meister again. Oh, boy. But we, we ain't going to go on them this time. I'm actually defending them. Oh, cause that's interesting. Keefe D, uh... America's favorite dirtbag, you know, back uh, back in court this week or whatever. And uh, are you listening to the fake news? He's throwing. Uh, How is he qualified to be a dirtbag? You know, he he's throwing he, he's throwing Diddy on the bus, which is ain't new. He he kind of was insinuating that before, saying that Diddy is is the one that you know what I mean allegedly got two pots of cool clapped or whatever. Is he considered a snitch? Hell yeah, he a rat. Oh no, he he. That's why he not in prison now. Keith Keith was supposed to be in prison for life. He he was a quote unquote. Well, they they called him drug kingpin. Nowadays, they anybody you know what I mean. Right. They just throw that label loosely, but basically, his whole reason for snitch. You know, he snitched to get out of a major federal case back in the day or whatever. I don't know why y'all call. Uh, okay, I understand the snitching. Now he's and a now, don't not document the snitch. Literally did me dirty. I don't give a damn. Mm -hmm. You sleep with my baby mother. You you hold me hostage, tie me up, and try to kill me. And I get out, and you don't expect me not to snitch. I don't. No, nah, I mean you're, not, you're a civilian. You know what I mean? You're gonna go ahead and you know what I mean? You're a female, so people not expecting. I don't understand if somebody's not loyal to you. Then why you still gotta be loyal to them? I mean. Civilian wise is different than you, you know what? Somebody made that kid, argument. You kidnapped me. You kidnapped me and tried to kill me. I just happened to escape like Raymond, Raymond Reddington. I mean, you should go ahead and do what you gotta do. You're female. And now these cops come up and ask me something about you. Do you think I care? I almost died. You almost killed me. Like, I, yeah, I, I, I mean, make yeah. it make sense. Where do we get yo? I promise you, I don't understand. We need our ancestors made these dumb rules to me. Well, okay, some, the mobs uh, yeah. or whatever. I don't understand that you're going ten feet down. You just tried to kill me, and please don't try to kidnap my kids. And you gonna come call me a snitch? You going down, brother? <laughs> and to be honest with you, I'm gonna be really, I'm gonna be candid with you. God, please, I make it. I'm gonna try to come for you myself. Now you mess with my kids, you don't have to worry about the FBI. I'm coming for you, and well, I really man, mean that. You mother, know, like Tupac said, "I ain't a killer, but don't push me." Yeah. Okay. Mama, you go ahead. <laughs> any mama would, you know what I mean? It'd be but, Rihanna, good girl going bad. You crazy. So I don't know who made these rules, but you kidnapped. I mean, me. but if you're a street person, and I consider it a snitch. You're not. You're not a street person, so you gonna do what you gonna do. But keeping these, I was is, raised is in a hood with crib. Child. Why am I considered different? Because you 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 was a participant in certain activities. You just a normal person. Listen, half of these young men. Were Don't get me wrong. Nowadays, niggas is different. So, cause like you could be a regular person, and if you do some shit, they gonna call you snitch regardless. But like back then or whatever, it's kind of like niggas wasn't looking at you to like if you did some shit and if somebody attacks you or whatever, and you go ahead and call the police or whatever, niggas gonna not gonna look at you funny. They gonna. So, but you know if you go and handle, but now, but if, now, I, if you go handle your business by yourself, that's fine. What you, what you mean? Uh, handle your business. Like, if you go, I don't know if, if he kidnapped me and then I go and try to kidnap his ass, is that considered okay? I mean, if you want, you, you try to get your get back. 
Okay, then I'll take that. I'll take A for 500, please. You trying to get your get back. You know what I'm saying? But playing, I understand certain shit Jeopardy. is we acidine. Jeopardy. I don't, don't, those things apply to people who are a part of that. Like with Keefy D, Keefy D was a well known Southside Crip, allegedly, and he was a, a, a well known, notorious figure from that side of the world, from California. So, yeah, he's a, he, he, he's a snitch. He Can snitched I ask on his you people. Person, this is why I wanted to in, interview um, Alpo. Because and I wish I would have interviewed him when we had the opportunity to. But my thing is, a lot of we're, we're passing on generational stupidity, in my opinion. A lot of these people have been in gangs since 12 and 13. These are babies. And they're being told what the codes are and the this and the that. And then now they grow up and you go, oh, well, they chose to be in this. Half of these people were recruited from other people who damn near just told them what to do, just like they kill, kidnapping people in the Congo and Africa and in, in Afghanistan and there, taking them from their families and training them. That's different, training. though. Over there is different. That's different. They're you a got, different type of beasts. I get it. Yeah, you ain't got I no choice. Like, you know, <laughs> they found out. Oh, over here, we still got a little bit of a choice. <laughs> really? At 12 and 13 years old, you don't niggas know is, where niggas to go? Not, niggas is not going to kidnap you in your house in the middle of the night and give you AK-47 and tell you to shoot random strangers over right. here. But they will they They're going to do that shit over but, here. But you enforce the care, and they're like, you don't, you don't have nothing, and you go with them because they give you a little bit of money. Same difference. It's just that they didn't have to kidnap you. You enforce the care. They're telling you to run away, you know, because... Oh, it, depend, it depends on where you're from, because some people just... You got some people who kind of like just chose to be a part of it and some people it chose them so it, it, it varies like you know what I mean some people chose from early age yo this is what I'm so gonna do and they, like had, and, they, and they might have had both parents and they might have had some you know good people in the household but that didn't change the environment once you go outside when, or whatever when you're 10 11 12 you impress you can still be manipulated even if you're growing up in a good household that's why it is in imperative that parents make sure that that's why you keep your keep your kids out the streets right but not just out the you it could be a school teacher you got school teachers f-u-c-k in young kids you got women but, that that, are in but, dealers but, but, but with, that's because there's no structure he See, got a little bit of punani at 13 years old now he ain't gonna listen to his mother he gonna listen to his teacher because she giving him some punani well that come from not evaluating who your kids are around because at the end of the day or whatever, no teacher should have that type of access to your kid. But if you somebody who like, you know, your kid has too much freedom or you're not around your kid, like, you know, because this could be in the same household. Don't mean you're around me all the time because, you know, parents work, parents do other shit or whatever. So just, you know, what I mean, right. just because we in the same household don't mean, you know, my every single move. You're not going to know your kids every single move. Right. All, you, all you do is. You, you raise them right, you trust them, but at the end of the day, mommy got to go make a living. If daddy around, daddy got to go make a living. So, at the end of the day, whatever, it's up to that kid to know right from wrong, to know, nah, I'm not. The parent has to teach the kid, but even then, I, I spoke to my son today, I showed him a video of a young boy being interrogated in a room at 12 years old in the state of Florida. You, you can uh, um, take a, a child in for questioning it's lawful and legal and because constitutional and you lawfully you don't i mean legally you don't even have to notify the parents so yeah, i, that's, I, that's I did i did role play with my son today like yeah. you see this right here what are you supposed to do in this scenario because you see the cameras and the boys in the room so i'm just saying but you never know you can't be around your children 24 well, 7 well well, well here in new york state where he, they can't do that legally so yo i can't talk to you without my parents so you need to call my mother or whoever and my legal guardian or whatever and may have them come over here because I'm not saying nothing to I mean, even in that state, it, it is permiss it, it um she read well, then, in his I, constitution. I, I can't but talk I'm to just saying, attorney. Right, but you have to have that conversation that even though this state is legal to do this, oh, you need you to train your right. kid about the laws, right. definitely. But you also need to keep your kid out the streets. So that way you don't have to worry about your kid dealing with the stupid role, you know, role But it's not just the street. Like it's the beautiful right. it, it, private it, it, schools. It could be anywhere. Right. You know, peer pressure can happen anywhere. So it's really not just the, the street. streets. 
I mean, you got could, the Catholic it, it could happen church in your home. You might have a brother that's into certain shit or whatever, and your brother might pressure you to do that shit. You might that's have fact. some cousins that's into whatever. Right. But what I'm saying is that, like, you know, some people have choices, some people do. Like, sometimes it's kind of like, I know dudes who come from, like, their mama is a crackhead, my daddy wasn't around, and they end up in jail or dead. I know some also also know, also know some dudes with the same background and them niggas when they were on them do some dope shit and they successful right. and they made it inspire that shit. I know some dudes. I know a dude who mama and daddy, you know, mom, daddy's a preacher. This nigga is a killer. He locked up doing football that, numbers that, or that, whatever. That, that preach that preacher might have been. Um, Mom, nah, nah, his, nah. His dad is stand up. He, well, he, 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 he took door face. number one. Nah, he, he took was, door nah, number one. Up, I'm gonna sit down for 30, 35 years. You know, He's I'm gonna take killer. door number one because door number two means that you know the, you get you, you, got, you get your ticket rules. punched. But if you make the choice to abide by these rules and regulations. Mm-hmm. Why you in these rules and regulations? This is what it is or whatever. So if we in the, if we code these, we code these. So you know what I'm trying to say? You got some niggas who, and Keefe D C ain't one of them type of niggas who was bringing all these young boys along That's and what, had them committing crimes and doing all type of shit. 12, only to go years old. ahead and these young boys is going ahead and standing tall because they're going by the rules and regulations and he end up being the one that rat on his young boys. We see that, that part. You see that shit nowadays or whatever. A lot of these so-called OGs not OGs or whatever. So that's why a lot of these OGs don't get respected now because y'all they not carrying it the way they supposed to be carrying it or whatever. So it's kind of like, so you sad. know, a lot of these guys, so it's kind of like, you know, Keefy D, you make this choice, so yeah, go ahead and live in Bye Bye. Why are you trying to snitch on Puff for? We don't know who did what the pot. Honestly, I, I I always felt that the pot and big thing was connected, and that's some government type of shit. I don't think that was no random whatever. The FBI was following both of them, so like y'all know who killed Pac, just like y'all know who killed Pig, cause y'all was doing y'all was following the both of them that night. And if you've been to Vegas before, Vegas is. You know what I mean? On fight night? Nah. you go, Somebody gonna see something. The rap police, entertainment police. Vegas on fight night. You, uh, you Listen, know, I don't know. You been to Vegas? Nope. And I uh, doubt I'm going. Sh- but let me explain. Sh- sh- shock, you, but sh- sh- I've been to Vegas. Sh- shock, you've been to Vegas for, right? Yeah. You so been, you see. You've, you've been, been seeing to, them Hawaiian you, girls dancing. Yo, so you've right? been to Vegas on a fight night or whatever. So <laughs> tight. And this is jokes. Vegas back in 96. She got jokes, yeah. Mike Tyson. And everybody, you know what I mean? Mike Tyson was that guy back in the day. Everybody know that. Mike Tyson was the biggest ever. So you not you saying you trying to say nobody seen nothing? Forget all of that. We are in the age of information, the technology. They got all these satellites. They can see you walking from the street to the thing down to the subway. I don't want to hear nothing. But even back then, Vegas was one of the first cities that had the uh cameras or open walked or whatever, the from like way back in the day. So I can change my wig ten times. They gonna find me. Oh, that's a fact. That's that's a fact nowadays. So they, they that, but you making my point. They know what happened. They, y'all know what happened to Big. Y'all better watch the, um, Raymond Reddington. That's y'all know what about. happened to Tupac. That's my shit. At the end of the goddamn day, because the same you know people that was involved in killing them allegedly was the same people who were doing surveillance on both parties that night. Everybody know Death Row's being investigated by the feds. That's why this is all Bad a joke. Being this invested. is all a joke. They're trying to get somebody because they already know who did what. They That's already what I'm know saying. who hit put the hit out. They already know who put the hit out <laughs> and told the next guy who put the hit out, then told the other guy, then gave they the know other guy the money, then put it in the bag, then exactly. ducked it into, then they gave it to the next guy, then dropped it into the damn garbage can. Then that guy went and picked it up and he gave it to the other guy to make the hit. They know everything. They know and I everything. wasn't even there, and I know that. Yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she, yeah, she, 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 yeah, she, she was right. She kind of broke it down. Yeah. yeah. She definitely, yeah. Yep. And yeah. then they said Pac is about to get in the car and that's what they did. And what's her name? Ducked down. <laughs> her name was never mentioned and she was in the car. And we know and, who. Uh, and yeah. And I ain't going to say nothing because we, you know, just in case. And, and then, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then they drove real slow. Uh, you ain't, you ain't saying nothing because she might be for Kamala. We're not going to say that. And yeah. then. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, we don't even know if this brother is still alive. So they claim they've seen him all over the world. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, 
Don't it, trust nobody. It, 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 it's, it's basically his account. And there had to be a reason why his account wasn't considered years ago. You know what I'm saying? And or decades ago. And now you got a photo surfacing you know, of him laying in the bathroom, bathtub he, like this, he, he, <coughs> looking sexy. Oh, he's ugly. <coughs> You're doing my man's wrong on all counts. You, you all right? You want me to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No I mean, homo? yeah, no, no, no. Sexy. I mean, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of bullshit in the air. Yeah. I, 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 I think we can end this segment on that one. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of bullshit. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, it's hot, yeah. <laughs> Choking I know on. what it is. Yeah. Uh, he kind of choked when I say he was yeah. ten toes down. We're going to let Shaka, you know, go ahead and drink uh, <laughs> some liquids. Yeah, yeah, because he kind of huh? choked For his up. nourishment. Oh, wait, pause. you going to say pause? For his nourishment? Yeah. I this just, is he's, he's flag on the play. <laughs> he, he's choking all over the place. Fuck Kim, doing? Kim, it's straight violation. Hit the yeah. red button because this is wrong right now. I don't know what they doing, but I ain't a part of this. Yeah, right? I, I, yeah. I, I, I yeah, so we, we, we ten toes down. Yeah, I know, you know what I'm saying? Ten toes down to ground. We Let's standing get it. on it. And we, and we live from uptown. Yeah, I know. <laughs>